Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and this is Daphne and today I'm gonna be having a video in collaboration with Joylene Santos. Here is her channel, go follow her and today we are gonna do the Instagram buddy. Yep, so if you wanna know how I'm gonna do the Instagram buddy look, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so already um, have my foundation on or my base. So I just used the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations because just look at how flawless my skin is. And I just set it with the Coty Airspun as per usual. So yes, and I already uh, did my brows. I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in Taupe. For our eyebrows, this is how I want to do my eyebrows, but I think from the uh, photos that I've seen about Instagram baddies, they do have like, you know, uh, dark, thick brows, but um, this is the one that would complement my face shape. So this, uh, this is my brows. This is how I wanted it to be. So for the eyes, let's proceed with the eyes. I'm going to be using the Tati Beauty Palette. <laughs> It just has the uh, neutral shades and then some of the burgundy shades over here. So we are going to first start by... So what I wanted to do since I have hooded eyes, I wanted to map out my eyeliner first. Then I use the shade Ritual. It's the dark brown, dark brown matte in the palette. And then we'll slowly map out our... Um, what do you call this? The eyeliner. Yeah, because I have uneven eyelids. As you can see, I have a flap here. This one doesn't have. If you have uneven eyelids, like I would suggest to do your eyeliner first. So then you will have a, um, a guide on where you're going to place your eyeshadows. In the middle. And slowly making your way outside. There. And then... Slowly extend the eyeliner or the what I call that the wing. Just flick your brush from the outer edge here. Slowly flicker. We'll start first with brown and then we'll eventually use an eyeliner. But this one is just for us to have a guide. Because I want to have a deep crease today. See how um, the eyeliner is connected from the lower lash line? That's how you're going to want it to be. Alright, there you go. We do have an outline right there. Then let's proceed with the other, um, with our other eye. Just to make sure that we are going to have like an even eyeliner application. So do the same thing. Just start from the middle. Working your way out. Slowly connect the wing. And also connect it on the lower lash line. Just so you know it's even. We're gonna make a fake crease by following our orbital bone. See where there's a dip? Dip in here. So we're gonna follow that. there and then let's get a tapered brush like this see how it's I really don't know hold on yeah tapered brush I dipped into ritual and then slowly blend that in yeah don't be scared to darken it up because we're gonna make a cut crease so don't really have to be perfect on this step and 
Yeah, and then slowly bring it to the inner corners. There you go. Then get a fluffy blending brush. Like this guy right here. Fluffy blending brush. Any blending brush that you have in there. It's the lighter brown, light brown shade. The matte one. Then start blending out that um, darker shade that we've placed on our crease. Slowly build that up. Just continue on. Okay, how do you know if your eyeshadow is blending? If it's like um, the color is fading onto that transition shade that we are applying right now. Yeah, I guess you can use circular motion like that or windshield wiper motion. Slowly adding product onto the shadow. Alright, so now that I've blended all that, now we're gonna make the look darker. So I suggest you get a um, small pencil brush like this. And then we're gonna dip it into memory second. Just tapping motion, apply it at the or on the outer corner of your eye. I want this look to be darker, so it's going to be different from the previous look that I did. So slowly add color onto the outer corner. There, you can see. Then you can also connect that over to the lower lash line. Tap, tap motion and slowly drag it inwards. There, and then connect it on the lower lash line. And then go back to the previous colors and slowly blend. I mean blend like slowly drag it inwards. Like that. Don't be scared, it's fine. Start from the outer edge, and then look up like that, and then slowly drag it inside. You see what I'm doing? Just using a light hand, and slowly dragging it inwards. Fluffy brush without any product on it. The um, the shadow is actually transitioning to the color of her skin tone. That's it. Just windshield wiper, wiper, windshield wiper motion like that. Just make sure that it's all blended. Now we are gonna move on um, on cutting our crease. So get your favorite concealer brush and of course your concealer. Favorite concealer. I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I do is. Stamp it. Look straight. It takes a lot of practice guys to master the cut crease. Me, it take a while. It really take a while to figure out what's the best um, or what is or like how can I like accentuate my cut crease especially I do have uneven eyelids so it takes practice and you're gonna look at the mirror to see if you're satisfied with the look so so this one as you can see it's not even so we're gonna try to mimic that it's even so I'm gonna make the
So I'm going to make the cut crease here a little bit higher. There you go, just make sure that they are even. All right, so yeah, I think we're satisfied with our cut crease. Now we're gonna, we're just gonna apply a pale eyeshadow. I don't wanna put any glitter today. I just want the pale eyeshadow, get a, um, what do you call this? A shader brush, yeah, shader brush. Aura, but the sequin shade. Aura. And just apply it. All over where we applied the concealer. Get the um, blending brush that we had before and dip it into the second ripple and then try to blend the uh, what do you call that the outer corner to the inner corner just so it's not like white and then black a little bit drag it into the inner corner just tapping motions so you can blend tap into the area where the black meets the cream shadow that we applied whatever we use at the top we'll apply that under the eyes and i'll get back to you with the eyeliner and lashes so hello guys we are back so we already have our lashes on and the lashes i'm using are from this brand dingston you can buy this from amazon and look at how long that is. It's just like perfect for my eyes. I cut them off and then I don't apply eyeliner. I just put them on straight. There you have it. I also went on, uh, what do you call this? Draw some nude eyeliner on the lower lash line. And of course, blend out the lower lash line. And now, we are going to contour our face. Get a card like this one. <laughs> some Fashion Nova. And then apply this like, this is where your cheeks are, right? But go higher so that, you know, the cheekbones will be much prominent. So get your uh, contour powder and start off with um, like close to the ear down. This is how I contour because it gives me a defined face and as you can tell and then look at the difference. And then we're going to slowly blend it out later. Let's move on to the other side. Here above the ear. So start from there and then slowly blend down. The one that I'm using is from Anastasia. All the details of this look is on my on my Instagram. Look at that. Really sharp. So slowly blend that out. Slowly. Include the temples. Of course. And this. Just so our face will not be totally round. I'm just dusting a bunch of powder over you know, here, close to my hairline. So it's not like, you know, like contouring in my white hairline or my fair hairline, so. There you go. And slowly blend that out. This guy right here, it's called the NYE. Yeah. Just like a cold corally blush. The way I place my blush is I'm actually starting from here again. Just like how we apply a bronzer. And then slowly work your way through the cheeks. Oh my gosh, I love this color. It's just gonna give you like that extra contour on the face. I'm using a Jessup brushes. They are really affordable, but they perform really, really good like Sigma. For our highlighter, we're gonna use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Wait, I forgot to spray my face. I'm using the Milani Rose Water. So that our makeup will blend really well on our skin. Alright guys, so for our lips, we are going to be using the... What is this? Rimmel London 
Lip contouring pencil in natural. And then we're gonna be using the MAC Retro Matte Lipstick in Cafe O Chic. Full opaque color. Oh my god. Look how suddenly it like, you know, make the look so different. I love it. Mm, okay. And of course we have to have a baddest outfit and of course wigs. So I'll be back guys. Hello guys and I'm back and this is my finished look. Hope you like it guys and if you do uh, enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any video suggestions and of course subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again next time have a good one bye